What's up ladies and gentlemen this is your friend Galactus here with the boss guide to all bosses in hard mode for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I will be doing commentary over these boss fights but I will not be talking too much. I will just leave you with a general strategy and some basic tips and tricks that you should keep in mind and rest I am just going to let the gameplay speak for itself. I am going to assume that you guys are much smarter and more mature than I am and maybe can do this better than I have done in these videos. Now you should know that I am using the Genji gloves and the goddamn rung for these for the builds that I am using but you don't have to use them and still if you want you can unlock Genji gloves pretty easily there is a guide up for that I will do the link in the description for you and also if you guys want to unlock the goddamn rung I have the guides for the all the brutal challenges and all the legendary challenges which I will also put a link in the description for you guys to check out and that will make things easy for you I believe for the party and materia setup, use Cloud, Yuffie and Aerith whenever you have the chance and just spam Brumal form. The Brumal form techniques works wonders and if Aerith has Genji gloves or Cloud has Genji gloves, you can just cast the spell and it will do a lot of damage and you can easily take those enemies out. And for materia, just check whatever the particular boss or particular enemy you are fighting is weak to. I will let it let you guys know in the description as well. So just use like suppose in a particular boss is weak to fire or ice, just use ice with MP absorb, ice with HP absorb, and ice with magic focus or magic efficiency or maybe swift cast, depending on how you want to use it. That way you have unlimited, uh, what you say, unlimited mana while using the casting your spells, and also you get some HP back. That is all, that is all the trick you need to learn. Uh, as for the gameplay, just put up an ATB ward on Yuffie and cast if haste on Yuffie. Then Yuffie uh, cast like Yuffie spams Brumal form. That's it. Yuffie spams Brumal form. She gets ATB for everyone and you can do anything you want then. One of the most important things you need to be on a lookout for is that most of these bosses have different phases. That is that after you deal a certain amount of damage, there is a cutscene or something that will trigger the next phase. While they are in between these phases, there will be points if you have the boss staggered or even if you don't have him staggered, there will be like a 3 or 4 second window where the boss will take no damage. So you have to really watch out for that. Like there is a stop icon or a no entry type sign that comes up on their health bar. Make sure you are not wasting your ATBs or limit breaks on them at that point. Because after that, they will go into the next phase and they will be technically much stronger or maybe hitting much harder. And if you are stuck without no ATB or if you waste your limit gauge on them before when they are not taking any damage, then you can be in a really tight spot. So it's not very well telegraphed. So you have to really, really make sure you watch out for that. Otherwise, you can be in serious trouble. So that's it guys final thing you guys should know is that this is actually the recording of my live stream that I have done I do not have a capture card right now I'm doing everything on my PS5 so there is some voiceover from the stream there which may lap over with this video and you might uh, hear some me say some stupid things or some weird things so please don't mind that and that's it also please do remember to like share and subscribe you can also support my channel on patreon become a patreon please show some extra support if you want to otherwise just show your love here that means a lot to me and as always wherever you are stay safe stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games i'm going to leave you with the rest of the boss fight now this is the first boss fight of chapter 13 against the red dragon your party is not limited to anyone so you can bring anyone you want. I would suggest bringing Cloud, Yuffie and Aerith and using Yuffie's Brumal form technique to take this guy down because apart from his whole body like the, he has other body parts as well that keep getting activated as the fight progresses. In the first phase he his head will be as a part that you can attack and I would suggest taking it out because it does a lot of stagger damage on him and once he staggered you can do a lot of damage on him uh, again this guy is weak to ice and also most of his attacks are fire based so you can equip fire plus elemental on your armor to negate some of that damage uh, the main thing to keep in mind is in the second phase he does this crimson breath attack which will pretty much one shot your entire party so to avoid it i would suggest taking him down as quickly as possible like you don't even give him the chance to get that move off 
so for that just keep uh, hitting him with your strongest ice spells i brought thandaga on aerith instead of ice but you can equip aerith with ice as well and then you have two magic casters with cloud and aerith dealing heavy ice damage on this guy and to that will take him down quickly uh, in the second phase he has wings uh, both his wings and his chest will appear as a part that you can damage taking down the chest actually does a lot of stagger damage and pressures him and taking out the wings grounds him and also does uh, some stagger damage but the point is taking out the chest usually speeds up the uh, like increases the chances that he will unleash the, his crimson breath attack so i would suggest waiting for him to be staggered before taking out the chest or just taking him uh, take it out when he's close to staggering because then the chest damage will stagger him and that's all you need to watch out for in this fight i think Oh, my friend is why I had to do this. 